What's up, guys? So I just did a reading on Aaron Dean and the murder of Tatiana, the police officer who murdered Tatiana Jefferson and got lots of information from the reading. But help me grow my channel. Just a quick message before you re listen to this reading. Please like, share, comment, um, subscribe so that I can continue with these type of messages and let me know what you think. But without further ado, here's the message. Thank you in advance for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribe. Peace. What's up, God? So, super good energy today. But we must search for truth in all situations, not just happy ones. Um, so, I want to do a reading on the man, demon, whatever you want to call him. Aaron, what's his name? His name is Aaron Dean. He is the police officer who killed Tatiana Jeff Jefferson. I want to do a reading. First, I'm going to do a general reading on him um, just to get energy and see what I pull up. I want to, and then I'm going to specifically ask about motives, and then I'm going to ask about outcome. I, I'm just curious um, to look into the heart of the matter and see my dang on computer my computer is messing up anyway i just want to look into the heart of the matter see just see what we can get from spirit in regards to aaron dean and this and the murder of atatiana jefferson sorry i got my stage because i want to protect my energy <clears throat> i'm gonna start with pulling some energy oracle cards might text me. Anyway, my name is Ash is God. You can find me on Instagram, Ash is God underscore on Inst on Instagram and YouTube. Hmm. So let's see. Woman holding the coin attachment. Interesting that we get those cards. Men holding a coin. Six chakra. Now, why would we get that in regards to Aaron D? So the fact that we have woman holding a coin and man holding a coin and attachment. That sounds like a partnership. So, who was his partner? And was it, a, I believe his partner, a partner was a female. A female officer. Anyway, let's just keep, let's read some and see what this is all about. But the fact that both of these came out, woman holding the coin and man holding the coin, there's something going on with the partnership. And six chakra, the six chakra is about enlightenment. Let's see what we get from these cards. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Listen to this, y'all. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem, can't seem to go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addiction, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? The change that binds you could be your own making. Yeah. Okay. We already know that. Racism, fear, um... 
that's all about being attached to old ideology, old patterns, old ways of thinking. Um, and it's also about, in, in, you know, feeling inferior and things of that sort. But just to stick with the reading, it could be an attachment. And we know that to an old way of thinking that influences actions. And I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just going to do I'm just doing a reading on the situation to see what energy I feel. 42 and 43. Woman holding a coin and man holding a coin. I, th I want to pull clarifying cards about this pair because it seems like a woman holding a coin and a man holding a coin. That's that's partnership vibes, but that could be parents. This could be an attachment to an old way of thinking from his parents. Hmm. Yep, it could be his parents or some sort of partners um, that he's attached to. That. And then the sixth chakra is about personal vision and clarity of thought. This is about third eye. So his inability to see things clearly is due to It says, this card reversed admonishes you to get clear. This may have been lost in confusion and had unclear or distorted thinking. But even if this state of mental chaos has been going on for quite some time, your lack of personal direction can be turned around. Take off the blinders, blah, blah, blah. Break out the old toxic thought patterns. So this is about toxic toxic thought patterns. We know that he's enlightened. Enlightened people don't go around killing people. So with the sixth chakra coming out. Goodness, I just feel sorry guys. So with the sixth chakra coming out, it's a lack of clarity of thought, a lack of vision. Is he's being held out from his attachments to old ways of thinking fear always of doing things start in thought and emotional patterns that no longer serve his best interest or the best interest of the public and it's due to a woman holding the coin and a man holding the coin not it's that's called a partnership a man and a woman so it could be a mother and a father that created this chaos into his mind removing his ability to think clearly and have you know a progressive thinking or moving forward in the times this is not to, again, I'm not trying to find an excuse. I'm just doing a reading on the situation. And that's pretty clear. That's pretty clear. We have yin yang there and we have balance. Of course, he needs balance, but <sighs> interesting. So what should I do first? What, evaluate this situation uh, the murder not situation he murdered I Tatiana Jefferson what do you have to say about this we keep getting balanced interesting what would that have to do with it why? Because we have balance here, and the temperance is about balance, too. What is this balance spirit? I want to pull. Dang, it's another card for balance. Spirit, what, what are you telling us? What is this balance about? The temperance card is about, it's not only balance, but it's also about peace, patience, clarity of thought, um, energetic balance of your masculine, feminine energies. And we know he's not bad. So, Six of Cups. This is also the past. Six of Cups is like love from the past. Or it's, So let's see, what is this? And Ten of Cups is family. So his family has stronghold on him. 
And family is not necessarily like mother and father. Your family could be a group of people that you are part of, a partnership that you are part of. It could be marriage. It could be mom and dad. It could be a work-related partnership or a social group. But whatever this is, this strong attachment, it's like he has a soul attachment to uh, the past and it's causing some sort of imbalance in his thought process. And that imbalance, so we have... A connection to old thought patterns, a connection to old emotional thought patterns, being controlled, a lack of clarity of thought because of these thought patterns brought on upon this man and woman, whoever it is, that has a stronghold on him. His ability to set, be set free from these old thought patterns and move forward in life is causing an imbalance and blocking his third eye, which then resulted in him doing some dumb shit, evil shit, like killing someone because he he ain't even thinking for himself. He can't even, he's a zombie. I'm going to do a video. It's like we have gods, we have demons, and we have zombies. So the zombies are what we call people who are triggered or who don't have control over their emotions. So we have gods who are keepers of the light, people who enlighten you and move you forward so if a zombie is following somebody in the light that leads them to light opens and awakens them from being at this state of lack of control over their own selves so like when you if you've read the bible or heard of it, it's a scripture where jesus says forgive them for they know not what they do zombies know not what they do so if you have a person in the light controlling them, like bringing them, motivating them and leading them in the right direction, then they are then enlightened and become an enlightened one, a keeper of the light as well and enlighten others. But if you have evil doers, like whoever this pair is in his life that's controlling his thought process and keeping him from a clear mind, um, we have people, we have them turning down, you know, demonic influence over the zombies, meaning creating zombies who are doing evil, who don't even know, and I'm, this is no excuse, but who are doing evil, but have lack of clarity of thought as to what it even is that they are doing. I'm being very careful with this video because I don't want it to make it seem like I'm sympathizing with him because I have no sympathy. We all have a choice whether we want to follow the light or if we want to follow de demons. So if you have, if you're so deep in emotional attachment to things that no longer serve you or the world's best interest, you've made a decision to follow evil instead of the light. So yeah, um, the Six of Cups though, it more resonates with, it's usually about the past something from the past so it's like he has and, and it's involving love so it could be it could even be like a wife or it could even be a it's a partner whatever form it could be but whatever it is it's clouding his vision and keeping him from balancing proper thoughts and proper actions and proper emotions let's look up angel of balance because it's right here and you have yin yang right under there, which is also balance. You know, maybe what he's doing is to keep us from being balanced, keep keeping people from the light, from balancing their energies and accessing their power. Yes, angel of balance, being centered and self honoring in your choices. It says, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this is about a greater equilibrium that can come to your life. Remain conscious about who you are, balancing your goals and emotional energy as well. So something is impeding upon his ability to be centered emotionally, to be centered mentally. He doesn't have emotional and, and, and physical stability. Something is off. And what's causing this imbalance is this partnership. Woman holding the point, man holding the point. 
I could ask more about who this partner is, but it's, it's connected to his family. Family ties to demonic energies, family ties, keeping him from growing, keeping him from being balanced. And they all have a play in her death. They all caused him to kill someone for no reason. But he's the one that is responsible for it because he pulled the trigger. You're responsible for your own life. Let's see what we get here. <sighs> then I'm going to specifically ask about outcome. Faith. Hmm. You have faith here and you have gossip. So let's see what this is adding to it. Where's my chakra? Book. I pretty much... Mm, Faith is we are all wounded. Some wounds are recognized easily while others are not. Interesting. You are meant to inspire others. If you do not carry on, they will suffer. And it's time to deliver your message. Um, what's gossip? Hmm. Truly open heart with no personal agenda other than love. But it could also indicate rebellion and deny your true gift. An ability to follow your heart can appear to others as careless or strange. Everyone wishes they had the love of this person. So I think this is just saying, Spirit is just saying, this is kind of motivating. But who are we motivating? I know we're not motivating him. So follow our hearts. Speak up, be yourself, follow your heart, have faith. Maybe spirit is just saying, don't let this situation kill your faith. Don't allow these things happening keep you from being balanced. Don't allow these situations to keep you from being balanced, to keep you from faith, or to keep you from forging ahead. It says, do not allow your pain to hold you back. You are meant to inspire others. So it's like, quick chat so I can explain these cards. And it's related. It's like saying, don't allow these murders of you know people for no reason keep you from light don't allow it to keep you from balance it's like i feel like there is energetic things going on in the universe allowing us and leading us to progression and to keep us from progression and to keep people from the light and to keep people from being balanced you have demons influencing their zombies to do something crazy to again pull us back into emotional a lack of emotional balance and control so when you're in a place of a lack of emotional balance and control you're a zombie and can you can be influenced for evil people who don't have an emotional control control over their emotions can be used for evil people who have control and are balanced can be used for light so it's like what kind of zombie are you or are you a zombie are you a god or are you a demon Yeah, if I look deeper into the gossip card, it says an ability to follow your heart, um, an ability to deny your true gifts. So it's like um, being an open heart without rebellion, being an open heart with love, um, being an open heart. Yeah, following your heart. But it's like, when things like this happen, it's a block to you being able to follow your heart or it's a block for you to be able to be mo emotional balanced. It's a distraction from you following your goals. It's a sh distraction from you, from your purpose. And also it's a distraction from faith. It keeps you from faith because we're so focused on 
things that seem like an injustice or things that are injustice happening in our communities, keeping us from being at a balanced state. So if demons want to keep zombies from being gods, then the demons influence their zombies to carry out actions and to do things to keep people in a place of emotional unbalance imbalance emotional and, and mental and spiritual imbalances that keeps them from seeking the light keeps them from their true gifts keeps them from love so in order to do that they do things like this so anytime something happens in the media where they're blasting or something like this like Aaron Dean killing Tatiana Jefferson is to keep you in balance emotionally spiritually mentally it's to turmoil and torture you to keep you emotionally imbalanced to keep you spiritually and mentally imbalanced to turn you also into a zombie that they can use for evil because if you can't, i can't be controlled i'm a god they can't demons can't control gods gods are balanced gods are balanced mentally spiritually physically that's why it's important as a god or a zombie in training to be god or you know like the jesus blueprint that's why it's important to take care of yourself because if you put yourself in position of turmoil and that could be done by yourself like financially then you're susceptible to being imbalanced emotionally mentally because you have trouble or turmoil that is self-inflicted but if you remain balanced physically materially emotionally then you don't have those distractions and you can seek the light and seek connection with your purpose and your gifts in order to be a god so people like Aaron Dean is a zombie he's nothing special about him there's he's a zombie and this zombie was used for evil because of connection to emotional patterns that were taught to him by his whatever partnership this is. Family. I, it looks like parents. It really does. This is this is the family card. Mom, uh, husband, wife, kids. I don't know. Then this is seven of pentacles here, like some money, needing money or some sort. You never know. We could have got paid for something like this. But then you have the six of cups here. So really it's about keeping the gods or keeping the gods or people who have the potential to be God from becoming one with the light because they're emotionally in turmoil, spiritually in turmoil, and mentally in turmoil. The first things that people do when something like they be like, y'all praying and all this shit, and, and they, they start denying God. So demons carried out the action through their computer messing up. Demons carried out the action through their zombies. And the first thing other zombies do who are trying to found, find balance, but maybe haven't found balance is deny God or accuse God, even though this action was carried about, carried out by demons and their zombies. I hope this, I didn't mean for this to um, play out like this, but that's how it came out. I have to deliver the message that comes out and the, me the message was about balance. Hmm, interesting. Yep, he did it. And the fact that the Seven of Pentacles keeps coming out, it's kind of fucking weird. Because that's the financial, that's the build wealth card. When you're building wealth, that's when, um, that comes out. So, why would that come out? I want to know more about his family. Something ain't right. But they're going to protect their identities, I bet. I'm going to um, 
I'm gonna see if I can get more from the Seven of Pentacles because it came out twice. Mmm. Interesting. The word that came out is failure. It's failure. Wow. It says, this is a doubling on the unbalanced nature of conscious energy as consciousness is now deeply into illusion where engaged while engaged in a frantic struggle with self-identity. That's perfect for this. Let me read it again. Unbalanced nature of conscious energy as consciousness is now descended deeply into illusion while engaged in a frantic struggle with self-identity. I think that goes, and, that, and this is another seven here. So the seven of pentacles here and the seven of cups here go hand in hand. When you see seven, sometimes um, it's spiritual completion and it's good energy. But also I do readings and sometimes when I do readings on kids who have mental problems or behavior problems, seven, seven, seven comes out. It's, it's highly energy of confusion, illusion, of disarray, spiritually. So anyway, the fact that they came out is perfect because it's like, he's unbalanced, so he carried out that action, but it's also trying to influence you to be unbalanced in your emotional, in, in your emotions and in your energy to keep you from knowing who you are, to keep you from the light. That's what it's, I mean, I figured that. But, you know, I did a reading. So, Spirit, do you have any information on the outcome? Is he going to spend time in jail? Is What's going to happen? Alright, so we have Five of Cups. Five of Cups energy is, like, missing out. So, something is definitely going to happen. Let's see, Five of Cups total. I like to look up the toth meanings because it is deeper into it. Disappointment. Who's going to be disappointment? Disappointed. I hope it's not us. But it's disillusion, disillusion, pain, loss, and sadness. So the outcome of the situation that doesn't tell us who though is disappointment, pain, loss, sadness. And I hope it's him, and not us. Um, because again, we have to remain balanced in our emotions and our energies. So we have Page of Swords. This is, Pages is like, um, so there's going to be a fight. If this is a lawyer card, the Pages is like a debater. So he, it's going to trial. I would say this is going to go to trial. So, or it's going to be some sort of heavy debate or fight or communication. It's not like, it's, it's, no, it's not going to cower in defeat. It's going to be a heavy debate. So it could be lawyers. This can indicate lawyers. We know that. The Ace of Wands can go hand in hand with this. It's like passion and communication. But let's look at um, the Toth meaning of the Ace of Wands so that I just love the Toth. It just is so much more information than just like the tarot cards. <laughs> Ooh, child. This is about power. The roots of the power of fire. And fire is about passion. It's about the emotions. Ooh, wow. Well. Ooh, well. Wow. Ooh. This could also indicate some sort of burnout. So, if the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands is together, it's like fight until you can't fight no more. Vigor, energy, fighting back energetically, not definitely not cowering down. I don't see that. I don't see an acceptance of a plea. I don't. It's, I don't. This is like putting all your passionate energy into this fight.
Then we have the Hanged Man. <laughs> That's a um, interesting. Excuse me. Hmm. What can the Hanged Man be saying in this situation? I get Jesus vibes with the Hanged Man, but um, in this case, is it the death? Do they have the death penalty in Texas? That is hangman. I'm getting, that's the energy I'm getting. Like, um, you fucked up. Hangman energy, you fucked up. That's what I'm getting. Mmm. But listen what this says. Acceptance of fate. Interesting. So maybe it will be an acceptance of a plea. So maybe it'll fight, fight, fight. So with the Page of Swords here and then the Ace of Wands and then the um, Hangman, it's like fight, fight, fight until you burn out and you no longer can. Sorry, guys, my computer is messing up. But it's like fight, fight, fight until you burn out and you no longer can fight anymore because you you've exerted all of your energy and then the hangman the hangman here is like accepting your fate whatever it may be it's like i'm burnt out now i'm going to accept my fate and then the page of pentacles is the, this is the fate this is what's being offered as the fate so let's see what the page of pentacles is in this rating i have to look it up i have to look it up because this reading is so different. It's not like Page of Pentacles in a normal reading would be new beginnings in career. But this definitely is a new beginning, but um, not in a good way. It's acceptance of, acceptance of fate. But in the Page of Pentacles is that fate. Let's see what it is. Hmm. Guys. Interesting. So my computer started messing up, so I had to stop it. But when I looked up the page of Pentacles, the word that kept coming out was life. So I really think he's gonna have a harsh sentence. And if let's see what card comes out here. Uh, yeah, he's gonna have a harsh a harsh Sem um, sentence what well, we have four here the four the zero is like um perpetual it's like no end it's like no ending and no beginning so i really feel like this is also clarifying that he's going to get a hefty sentence and also a lot of cards came out like all these cards just dropped like all these cards just dropped so he's starting, I feel like he's going to get life. He's going to get life. If not the death penalty, he's going to get life. Yep, he's going to get life. What is this? Nine, four, one, plus two, one, five, eight, two. And he might even get more than one charge. He might get fined or sentenced for more than one thing. But he's definitely going to get a hefty sentence. And he's going to fight it, but it's going to burn out. And he's going to accept the fate once he burn out. So I'll just leave it at that. Thank you for your... Please tell me what you think. Like, comment, share. Um, watch this video through. If you have, you have. If you're here, you have watched it through. But anyway, let me know what you think. And... Um, if you want a reading on any situation, comment. If it's like a reading on a public situation, comment what you would like for me to read on. If it's something personal, you can click the link in my description and order a person. Before I was interrupted by my computer, I was saying, click the link in my description if you would like to order a personal reading. If you want to order the Master Manifesto Toolkit, teaching you the manifestation process of how I manifest the full payment of my student loans without paying, or if you want to order God merch, or if you want to learn more about me, ashleygiller.com. Peace.